Hey everyone, Tony the Photographer here. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to replicate this photo. Um, I took this photo about probably a year ago, so the first time I took it, it took me a long time to produce this photo from the shooting as well as to the post-production. So this time I should be able to explain it in less time than it took me to shoot. And also, um, in the future I do plan on releasing a basic version of this photo on how to do levitation photos without um, if you're not able to have like certain equipment like or understanding the shutter speeds and so forth and so on or if you don't have Photoshop but this one I'm just gonna explain basically how to shoot exactly this um, I won't do the cut part I'll explain that during the video but um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy so let's get started the first thing you're gonna need is a tripod you can have any type of tripod, it doesn't really matter. It can be a really cheap one or a very expensive one. Or if you don't have a tripod, you can use a chair, a stool, a rock, a solid surface, something just to keep the camera steady so it won't move while you're shooting at all. The next item you'll need is definitely a camera. You can use an iPhone, but I would highly recommend using a camera just because you can adjust the shutter speed and the aperture as well and it'll bring better quality in my opinion. What I used for the next part was a stool. I feel a stool is a lot easier because it will be easier to take out of the image later on. But if you don't have a stool, you can use a guitar amp or you can use paint cans or anything. Just anything you can use to lay on and lay your back on flat pretty much. As far as lenses go, you can honestly use any lens. I prefer the 18 to 55 just because you have more space, but you can still use close prime fixed lenses as well just to shoot and you just have to back your tripod up a lot more. The lens I chose to go with is my 24 to 85 millimeter. Um, it's just sharp enough and just far enough so we'll try that one. Oh also you need yourself. That is definitely one of the items you definitely need for this picture. Now a quick thing about with the levitation thing. Um, there's different ways to do the basic one. A lot of people jump for instance and I feel the when you when it comes to jumping the more straight your legs are and the body where you just push off from your toes, it'll look better in the images as well. But that's another tutorial and I'll probably make a video on that one just in case this one's a little complicated and stuff. But this is how you can do simple levitation and just having a camera to capture that as well. It's all about how you place your body and how you do different poses and it's all kinds of stuff. And, you can do so much with it, but yeah, let's get on with what we're shooting for. Now, when it comes to placement, you want to get most of your body to hang over the right side or the left side, depending where you shoot, of the stool. And you want like your shirt to cover, you kind of want your shirt to look normal and to be able to hang. And then foot placement is simple too. You want to have your feet as if you're walking normally or to add a, even more illusion, you want your head back, you can point toes, you can even put your feet off the wall. You can just do all types of things and you want to think of how you would be pretty much if you're standing straight up. So, yeah. Also, what I had on my video as well, I used a scarf, so it would be awesome to have like, whether it's a jacket or a uh, cloth or a scarf like I'm wearing right there to add for the effect where it's as if things are hanging and it'll give a more dramatic effect where gravity seems to be defined so again there I am shirt hanging and you see the scarf hanging down from the ground arms hanging feet in a certain position and yeah head back always head back so you can look normal and stuff or you can act as if you're running reaching anything just different poses that make sense you can even try with uh whoops yeah i definitely almost fell but yeah even more dramatic cloth you can have hanging and it'll make your uh photoshop job of taking the stool out a lot easier as well and it'll make it easier to edit shadows and stuff like that as well you just don't want to get things too caught where it looks like you're actually on a chair so the more things hang down off the side of the chair the better like that that would be awesome right you can do movement too as well 
I'm shooting this shot with a softbox only because I'm shooting inside. But if you don't have a softbox, I would definitely recommend shooting somewhere where the lighting is really good or just shoot outside. That works too as well. Also, um, most cameras and phones have timers, so I recommend using that. The longer you set your timer, say 20 seconds, the more time you have to set things up. If you have a wireless remote for your camera or your phone, I would definitely recommend using that. But if you don't, use the timer. All right, now after that, you just get back in place and put your feet where they need to be. But just make sure your articles of clothing look right so you don't have to come back. Always double check everything. You know, you still got 20 seconds to shoot. Put your arms in place and your shirt. Make sure your feet are proper. And then there you go. You got your photo done. And that's that for the first shot. Also, you're going to want to take a photo of the scene without you in it as well. You want to remove everything, including the stool out of the image. And that way, when you put the layers on top of each other, you have a blank layer with nothing on. And then you'll just take a shot of the blank layer, and then that's it. So thank you for watching. Um, hope I helped a little bit explain the setting up process. Next, we'll talk about the Photoshop process. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, share, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. Thanks, guys.